All right, guys, so real quick before I get to the end of the video, um, I just want to go over something. So if, uh, you know, a lot of times I only really teach card tricks on the channel, not necessarily like the basics of card magic or how to handle the deck or how to spread or how to shuffle cards or whatever. Um, if you guys are interested in learning something more specific to that, make sure to click the link below. I have it in pretty much all my videos, but uh, I haven't talked about it a lot, but essentially it's just a beginner course where you guys can learn uh, like the very basics of magic so that way you don't start off on a bad on a bad foot, so maybe you're not doing something right or, you know, anything like that. So if you guys are interested, make sure to check that out. Um, also, this card trick is going to be coming from a uh, another channel called uh, Card Perfect, so make sure to subscribe to them. I'm going to go leave the link up there. You know, like I said, guys, if you ever want to be featured on my channel, um, if you guys send in a video and it's good quality and the card trick and the magic is actually there, I'll check it out and I'll let you guys know if, you know, I want to collaborate, only because there's a lot of people that actually ended up sending me submissions. But like I said before, guys, if you guys are, uh, you know, really trying to get a YouTube channel started and I can see the potential there, then I have no problem in um, having you guys on my channel. Because like I said uh, before, you know, I know it's really difficult to get started um, on this platform anyway. So I'd like to hand out some of my subscribers to other people as well. So anyways, here is the trick, guys. Um, I'm going to show you it right now. Hey, guys, this is Card Perfect. And today I'm going to show you how to do a really cool trick. We're going to start off by finding two cards from the middle of the deck. We'll use, no, let's not use that one. Let's use that one and that one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these cards. What we're going to do with them is first you need to know what they are. So we have the Queen of Spades and the Queen of Clubs. So these are the two cards we'll be using for this. Now we have them and we're going to put them right here on top of the deck. Now, if you take the two black queens and you place them right here, what happens is they turn into the two red jacks. So, I hope you guys like that. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Card Perfect Magician, and also subscribe to this channel to Hester Twenty Three Bears Ch. It's an amazing channel. Um, if you guys want to learn magic, see some crazy magic moves, it's the perfect place to go to for cardistry, anything like that. This is the channel you want to subscribe to. So make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is Card Perfect. Peace out. Alright guys, so I hope you all liked his performance um, as much as I did. So I'm going to be showing you guys pretty much the exact same trick. I'm just going to be putting a little bit of a different spin on it. Not anything to change the trick entirely, but just a little bit uh, a little bit different variables only because, you know, obviously if anybody who's experienced in Magic, they might see a card trick and they might, you know, think of something better they could do. So I'm not saying his trick wasn't great. I thought the performance was really good, but this is just kind of how I would perform it myself. So, um, at the beginning, the setup basically is you're going to put the two black queens right on top of the deck, right? And then what you're going to do is just have the two red jacks. I'll grab those out right now. So, essentially, what you're going to do is take out the two red jacks as well. And here's how I would start off the trick. So, you put this, you put these near the bottom of the deck, somewhat like that, right? And then what you could do is start off the trick. And you can tell the spectators you're going to give the deck a little bit of a shuffle. And all you're doing is leaving those two red queens on top, or two black queens on top. And what you can do is you're going to go through the deck. What I really liked what he did was at the beginning he said, all right, let's go through the cards here. He said, all right, we might use this one, right? So he puts down a card, leaving it face up, and then he says he doesn't want to use it. So this, when he puts the card face up, um, it kind of gives the spectators a trust factor because at first he lets them see the face. He says, actually, you know what, we use a little bit of a different one. And then he uh, turns them towards, his, uh, towards himself. The spectators can't see. And that kind of makes it a little bit less suspicious when you're putting the cards to your face and they can't see. Because at first you were you were open with the faces, but at this point what you're going to do is hide the cards. Okay, you're going to hide the cards. You're going to go through and you're going to look for the two red jacks. So the reason I put those towards the bottom of the deck at the beginning and then did a riffle shuffle, because um, if you if you had the decks littered throughout the, or the jacks, you know, littered throughout the deck, and when you're looking for them, you might stumble across the two black queens up top and you don't really want the spectators to see that so from here what you do is you put those cards on the table you say alright so here's the two cards we're going to use and as you kind of misdirect them whatever you guys want to do you just need to get a pinky break below the top two cards and that's going to be the queens right so you can do a pinky count or you can just do a thumb break like I just did just really simple stuff not that big of a deal you just want to get a pinky break underneath uh, the bottom two or the top two queens. All right, so once you're in the position with the pinky break um, within the two or below the two black queens, all you have to do is put the jacks on top and say, all right, so you know what? I went ahead and I picked the two black queens. You can flip these over. 
show these to the spectator and you do have a pretty thick packet it's pretty much double the thickness but from uh, just the two just two cards there's actually four here so once you've picked up the cards from the break all you have to do is thumb over the top card which is going to be a queen it looks like you have two cards but in reality you do have a packet of cards in your right hand you can sandwich this on top or actually what you've done is sandwich the two red jacks so what you can do is put this packet on top you can square it up and now what he does in the performance is you have to get rid of this top queen right there so what he does is he's holding the cards in middle grip right here he squared up the cards and all you have to do is you come over with the deck here and you're gonna put it so the, the back of this deck goes to the face of here so you're pretty much covering up almost like a wrist kill almost so what you're doing is when you square this up you don't want these to be level necessarily you want them to be more uh, out jogged like that so the deck is gonna be a little more out jogged not necessarily lined up the deck is gonna be a little bit forward all you're doing is put the cards face to face and you have these pads of your finger fingers that overlay the deck of cards so when you put the deck here these pads of your fingers are now going to be contacting the top card it's pretty much like a slip force all you're doing is slipping that top card off but over the cover of the deck so as you guys can see you can't see anything because the deck is covering what's going on so right now as you guys can see I actually have contact with that top card but from the spectators angle they're not going to be able to see anything so from here you just pry the deck out like that they haven't seen anything you just done and all you did though was actually steal a card so it's pretty much exactly the same thing as a slip force but it's a little variation where the spectators aren't going to be able to see your move so if you guys watch this performance you can get an idea for the speed and how quick you guys are going to be able to do that and what kind of pattern you can do to misdirect them but essentially that was the move broken down and from here it looks like you have both queens all you have to do is flip over these cards and the trick is pretty much set. You've gone ahead and reversed the order of the two cards. You say, well, watch, the moment I snap my fingers, those two black queens turn into the two red jacks. So uh, this is a really cool card trick. And uh, like I said, guys, if you want to be featured on this channel, make sure to hit me, a, uh, hit me up with an email. That's going to be in my about tab. And I can't give shout outs and um, video collaborations to everyone. Just make sure that, you know, the quality of your videos are there. And so is somewhat, you know, like I said, I'm kind of leaning on skill because everybody has to grow somewhere. But make sure the quality of the video is there. I want to see potential. And uh, that's kind of it, guys. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Card Perfect. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. She's a literal man.